Hi friends, welcome to Competitive Exams Material Channel. In this video, we will see how to compare two strings in Java with examples. Okay, string comparison is a common programming task and Java provides several ways to compare two strings in Java. So every one of you knows, right? I mean, who, I mean, who are not aware, string is a special class in Java. It's an immutable and it's used a lot in every Java programming starting from simple test to enterprise Java application. So in this tutorial, we'll see different ways to compare two strings in Java and find out how they compare strings and when to use equals or compare to method. Okay. So let's see the first method. The first method is string comparison using using equals method. So using equals method. How to compare strings using equals method. And the second one is using equals ignore case method. Using equals ignore case method and third one is using compare to method and the fourth one is using compare to ignore case method and the fifth one is object o is capital object dot equals method object dot equals method okay so these are the different ways to compare two strings in java uh, let's start with the equals method so first one is equals method so equals method compare two strings for content equality if both the strings have same content then equals method will return a boolean value which is true or false okay so if two strings are equal equals will return true otherwise it will return false so if two string contains same letters in same order and in same case i'm i'm repeating one more time if two strings contain same letters in same order and in same case they will be equal by equals method it will return equals method will return true otherwise it will return false so equals method is defined in object class and string class overrides that okay for character based comparison this is the first method and the second method is what equals ignore case method so equals ignore case is more liberal and is equal to i mean it's more liberal than equals and compares two strings by ignoring their case suppose if two string contains same characters and in same order irrespective of their case example it might be lower case upper case capital case or camel case they will be equal by equals ignore case okay for example if we take sandeep okay and sandeep so if we use equals ignore case method both will be i mean equals ignore case method will return true why because it won't uh, consider the case here in equals ignore case Suppose if you use equals method for these two strings, it will return false. Why? Why? Because I mean here in the equals method, even case should be uh, proper. I mean same. Third one, using compare to method. So compare to or the actual comparison method, unlike equals and equals ignore case. It tells us whether two strings are lexicographically equal, precedes or follows each other. Okay. So if you want to sort strings lexicographically, okay, compare to method is used. It is also called as a natural order of string. So the compare to method return type is integer. It returns zero if two strings are same, less than zero if calling string comes before the argument string and greater than zero if calling string comes later than argument string. So it compares ASCII, value, ASCII values of the characters. Okay, by using the natural ordering and the fourth one is compare to ignore case method so in the compare to ignore case method so here we are ignoring the case that means whether it is capital small or camel case we are ignoring here and last one I mean by using object dot equals method 
okay these are the five different ways to compare two strings in java let's see the program and so here i have created a class called string compilation demo okay string compare demo okay string compare demo so let's rename this method uh, or just say string equals demo okay i'm just writing a main method inside it and take two strings okay string str1 equal to say sandeep and string str2 equal to you can say new string of sandeep and here also new string of sandeep if you want to compare these two strings in java so first method what we need to use we can use equals method so system dot out dot println str1 dot equals str2 okay so this method should return true okay so compare this string to the specified object okay str1 is compared to str2 the result will be true if and only if the argument is not null and is the string object that represents the same sequence of characters as this object okay let's run the program and see the output it will return true okay it returned true suppose if i change the case over here okay though the content is same except the case equals method will return false why because even it considers the case okay now let's take the second method what is the second method equals ignore case so what this equals ignore case method does is it compares it also compares <clears throat> the order of the string the characters in the string okay and uh, even the con it considers the case as well so if the two string contains same characters in the same order including the i mean ignoring the cases lower case upper case capital case and camel case then it will this equal ignore case will return true otherwise it returns false suppose if we take here s is small here and s is capital here let's run the program and see the output if you see here it is true why because it ignores the cases it only considers the order of the letters and the characters in the string okay and the third one what is the third method compare to method in the compare to method how do we compare the two strings by using so by using how do we compare by using compare to method str1 dot compare to str2 okay so it will return compare to will return zero negative and positive so it compares two strings lexicographically this comparison is based on unicode value of each character in the strings the character sequence represented by the string object is compared lexicographically to the character sequence represented by the argument string so this string one is compared with string two lexicographically by comparing the unicode value of each character okay unicode value of each character so this results in negative integer if string object lexicographically precedes the argument string it returns a positive the string object it follows the argument string result is zero if both are equal okay let's print this and see the output so it returns the it should return zero positive and negative values if you see positive 32 okay 32 positive value okay and the last method is e compare to ignore case so compare to will ignore the cases but only consider the characters okay so compare to ignore case it is similar to compare to only 
it compares two strings lexicographically ignoring the case differences it returns an integer whose sign is that of calling compared to with normalized version of strings let's run the program and see the output zero why because it can compare to ignore case it uh, ignores the cases and compares two strings so in that case what happens two strings will be equal and the last method is what equals object dot equals method or uh, system dot out dot println object dot object dot equals method so we can ignore the last one so these are the four different uh, methods where we can compare two strings in java hope you understand this video thanks for watching this video if you like my video don't forget to subscribe to my video thanks